In this exercise, we're going to be discussing level of detail. Now, we've already talked about a couple different representations we could do. We had the view representation, and then we had the positional representation, and now we're going to talk about LOD or level of detail. The first two I consider visual representations. They are changing the color, the appearance, whether or not you see something, what location it's in. They're not affecting the overall weight of the model physically and figuratively. The model itself is not defined by those. It's just giving you, you know, the proper colors or shading or whatever you may need to make a visual representation of it. Where level of detail really helps inventors stand out is the fact that it goes in and actually adjusts the memory of the model. In other words, if we needed to work with a very, very large assembly on a relatively small computer, we can do that by using level of detail to suppress parts and turn things on and off. We can use representations to show what that part could look like. So let's take a look at these. You'll notice that I have a couple already in here and we could do all components suppressed, all parts suppressed, all content center suppressed. This one's probably the most easiest of the automatically created four here. We go through and get rid of all the nuts and bolts. Some places model nuts and bolts if you're doing machinery design, you have to, and that can take up a lot of memory real quickly. So if you just go ahead and turn all those off real quickly, it's an easy way to free up a lot of memory. The way Inventor works is whenever you suppress something, it actually goes into your RAM and releases it. I don't know if it's this way anymore, but at one time Inventor was the only program out there doing this. Other programs, they may not use as much memory, but Inventor, when they came out with this, was the only program that went in and released the RAM. Even if you really close AutoCAD, it doesn't really release the RAM. The computer can rewrite over it, but until you flash that RAM or turn off the computer and reboot, it's never going to completely release it. Inventor will actually reduce the amount of RAM based on turning things on and off or suppressing things, basically. So let's take a look at, you know, here's a simplified one we have. It wants us to save, of course. And you can see here is a simplified version level of detail that's just the sides and the torque shaft. You know, this gives us our bolt hole locations, it gives us our floor locations, but it's a very lightweight model. This is going to be, you know, a tenth amount of memory and hardware resources needed to manipulate this and still give you all the functionality that you would need to, say, create an installation location. Maybe the rollers are very important to you, so you could have the shafts of all the rollers so you'd know where the centers of them are, or you could just have the rollers and things like that, depending on what you're needing. Very complex machinery design, you do a lot of subassemblies, and you end up needing to know where one subassembly connects to the other, but you don't need to know where all the guts are. So that's a real quick one there. If we wanted to take a look how to create one, I go back to the master, I right-click on here, and I say New Level of Detail. We do have the option of a new substitute, and inside of there we have options of derive assembly, shrink wrap, and select a part file. For this initial one, we'll just do new level of detail, and we'll just say max location parts. There we go. And what that would allow us to do is we could keep things like these covers, because physically around the machine that's going to be important, but we could get rid of things like this part here. It's just a carriage. So I'd right click on it and I'd come down here to suppress. Turns it off. Find the next one. Right click, go to suppress. I can come up here as well. Right click. Now you have to be careful. If you just hit visibility there, that doesn't actually turn it off. That just turns off the visibility. You have to make sure you suppress for level of details. This saves you the memory. This makes your computer work better. So you have to go in here and actually suppress these parts. I can actually hold down control and get several of them at one time. And before you know it, we have basically the outside parts. I can turn off the visibility here and then go in and suppress these inside parts. And then go back in here, turn my visibility back on. Same thing here, turn off my visibility, hold down control, make sure I get all my parts here. 
Let's press. Got some bolts here. Turn my visibility back on on my cover. And so this gives me a really good footprint model. Come up and you hit save. Say OK. So now we have a new level of detail. I need to go back to my previous one or to the master. Just double click on the master and all my parts come back. Another thing that you can do is you can actually replace parts. So I can click on this part here and then I can go into it. Let's just open it up, make it a little bit easier here. And we can replace this very complex part with a simpler part. Expand out this part's level of detail. I'm going to say new substitute, select part file. So I have this simplified block that's a good placeholder. Close, save, yes, yes. And then now what I can do is I can come in here to this part, expand out the representation, and hit that simplified or substitute level of detail. And it just puts a big block in there. While that's not as pretty, that block uses, you know, a tenth of the amount of memory. So you start doing that on some real complex parts, especially things with a lot of fillets and grooves and things like that, that can really add up a lot of holes. You notice there's no holes in there. And that gives us a really good placeholder. So if we need to send this out to somebody and we don't have something fully defined, we want to say, hey, this isn't fully defined. Don't measure to this. This is just kind of a temporary or just to save memory. We can put in this big block to represent it. As with a lot of things in this course, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail on this. I just wanted to show you kind of how the real basics of level of detail works. And more than anything, I wanted you to be able to recognize it so that if you ever run across it. I've had people that will run across this and they can't figure out what's wrong with their part. Why isn't this working? And all you have to do is come in here and set it back to the master. Now, one of the things you could do is we could actually have a level of detail that references other level of details. So for instance, I could turn this level of detail on and then turn our part back on here that has that substitute level of detail. So this level of detail could call out another level of detail. So you can have a level of detail inside of a level of detail. If you ever see things like this and you just can't understand it, check your level of details on your parts. So now we have master in there. Say yes. We don't care about changes right now. And we could get back to our master. So if you have some issues like that where you're seeing things that didn't look right from a model, either your model or somebody else's model, check your level of detail and make sure that you know, either you or somebody else didn't turn that on and you didn't realize it. This is a really good way to save memory and to make your computer run faster in very complex assemblies. My rule of thumb with level of details is it should save you at least four times what it costs you. In other words, if it takes you two extra hours to create a complex level of detail and it only saves you 20 minutes of time, then it's not really saving you anything. But if it saves you 20 minutes of time every day for the next year, then yes, it's very much worth going through and creating a level of detail. So take a look at this. Not so much a follow along as it is, I just wanted you to understand what level of detail is and see how it works.